I was a late bloomer, at least I thought so. I went to a boarding school pretty early. I was in class four when I joined boarding school. And, but uh, traditionally people will come to boarding in class seven when night prep started, that is from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So it only made sense for people to board in school. Uh, but our school had a really good culture of celebrating adolescence puberty. So like when you started your menstrual circle, it was like a celebration. You just needed to whisper to one person and the one person will tell the rest of the world, everybody. And there will be a celebration in that everybody else who would have started their that their periods we used to call big girls will come and celebrate you and they will contribute and there'll be a whole fundraiser and they will give you sanitary towels, you'll be set, they will show you how to use. So it was a really good culture. When I reached class eight, most of the people who had, who had joined Warden Ali, me included, uh, who I was part of the group, but most of the girls who had started the period, uh, joined Ali started having their periods. And I really looked forward to being part of the group. But class six, first term came, Nara. Class six, second term, Nara. And I could just long to be part of the group because there was this culture like on Saturday, all of them would be gathered together. They would say something like, all big girls out and all the big girls would go out and they'd have their talks and all that. And I always missed out because most of my friend had, friends had joined the, the club, the big girls club. And I felt really bad. I longed for it. Then class seven came and everybody else joined boarding. So we were quite a number of girls. And like every weekend, every day, there was somebody joining the big, big girls club. And I was left there. So first, uh, first time came class seven, it went Nara. Second time, Nara. Eventually third time came and I joined, the, I joined the club. So I was very excited. But in the back of my mind, I always felt I was a late bloomer because of that. Until actually very recently when I was out with a few of my friends, uh, some two ladies, and we were just talking about how it's a struggle for adolescents today. We talked about a lot of things they were going through. And for some reason, the story went and we started talking about ourselves. And these two ladies, we started, we started talking about the menstrual circles and when it kicked in. And the two ladies told me they started in one in form three, and one in form four. That is what it hit me. Maybe I was not a late bloomer, but because of what had happened to me, I'd always thought I was. No, I'm not here to talk about menstrual circle. I'm just talking about late bloomer, especially in life. Sometimes when you are finished with, you started school, maybe high school with this group of people from the village, or maybe just from the same high school and you became friends. And then you went to campus almost at the same time. And then you got into the job market and people started getting jobs within the same time, you know, a job here, a job there. And then the job, there's a promotion, a better job. And then they move from this uh, funny estate to a better looking estate. And then they, we people start buying cars together and start doing homes together and then you notice like you're like a few years behind everybody else or several years uh behind everybody else and at times you can feel very frustrated you can be like me you're like when is it going to happen to me when am i going to move to that porsche a said when am i going to buy my car when am i going to buy my car Kashamba somewhere, Kaplot somewhere, and at times you can feel like you're not, life is not happening to you at the time it's happening uh, to everybody else. And that's what I'm calling a late bloomer. But let, let me just put a caution. Just like me, you might be just a little bit behind and you think you're a late bloomer. As I said, I thought I was for the longest time, actually until a few weeks, uh, when I had uh, a story of a different person, but I was not. Actually, it happened within the right time. So you might be out there and feeling that way. Things cannot happen to us exactly the same time or within a year. You know, life is, is you know, will happen at different times for all of us. So maybe you're looking at yourself like you're really delayed, like you've been a late bloomer in life. But maybe that's not the case. It's just a year. It's just two years. It's just three years. Even five years is still within. We can still uh, say it's within the range. But then it comes a time when it is really way, like time has passed so much time. So you're so much time maybe you're talking about 10 years and you're really feeling what's happening to my life today i'm here to encourage you one of the things i would advise you to do is accept your reality not in the sense that it cannot change but in the sense that right now this is where i am don't try to deny it because sometimes what happens you start uh, withdrawing because you can't face up to your reality you don't want to hang out for well, the people who really are your friends, who you have, ha have been your friends all these years, they have been your, your strength, your encouragement, but because things are now really, you're, you're being a late bloomer, you know, you, you start withdrawing. Don't be that person. Imagine just gather yourself, understand that this is happening to you, and you know what? It's okay. It's not the best situation, but it's still okay. So don't withdraw. Accept the reality. The other thing that can happen when you have not accepted 
is that you can start uh, making up stories to uh, to fit in the context of everybody else. You know, when people talk about their jobs, you know, how they're doing well, and maybe you are not doing that well, you start coming up with stories that are not true of how you went to holiday or property you own and you don't own. Don't be that person. Just accept that this is your reality. It may not have been what you thought it would be, but this is that this is where you are right now so that is the first thing accept i remember i was also a late bloomer i remember by the time i was getting my first job that i was pensionable i did a lot of things you know here and there some businesses some volunteering but when i got my first job i was i think 34 and i remember i was so excited initially and then it dawned on me man it's like you're 24 years old you know this where you are right now is where 24 year old and it was it was becoming heavy on me and then i just told myself you know what this is my reality. I accept I'm a 24, 34 year old and I'm just going to work it. So accept it. Don't stick on the blame game. Don't blame your parents. Maybe it is their fault. They forced you to do a course you didn't want. The one you didn't think is marketable. Don't blame the government. It is their fault sometimes. You know, they're not creating their jobs, but don't let yourself, your life be bitter about it. So accept. And then secondly, surrender your life to God and let him write a beautiful story. You know, God can still make your life become beautiful. Don't give up on it. Just surrender your life to God and let him write that story because he's not starting now. He has always had a story. He's trying, he's working something, not trying. He's working something with your life. Just cooperate with him. Surrender your life and let him make it beautiful. I'm reminded of, of Abraham in the Bible. You know, he didn't have a child that I can remember. I can imagine he was thinking that he's such a late bloomer in that area of life but God came and now when we read about the story of Abraham it's encouraging so many people it's beautiful it was not easy I can imagine maybe he did not think that will happen to him but he accepted it and worked with it don't hurry God don't try to you know to uh, to work out things that are not in line with God because you're going to end up with an Ishmael and an Ishmael will just bring problems in your life just surrender your life to God so it sometimes it happens that we are late bloomers but that that doesn't mean God is not in control and that doesn't mean it cannot be a beautiful story let the Lord write your story and it will still be beautiful late bloomer or not God bless you